Madaya, my peeps! Welcome to Maita Unmasked Art. Today, we will be talking about elements of art as applied to performing arts. Now, what are these elements of arts and how do they apply to theater and dance? Let's begin. Elements of art as applied to theater and performing arts. Art has elements, and these can be applied to performing arts. Which type of performing arts are they applied to? It's actually dance and theater. So this will include theater design and acting. The first one is line. From line of sight to line of movement, this line can be actual or imaginary. Line can also be applied to the movement of dance or the movement of the actors on stage. Look at this photo. Notice the S that the dancer is portraying. The pole itself is one vertical line and the dancer can mimic the line coiled around it. Look at this stage design. The vertical lines add height. Visually, these lines make the audience look up. It makes the stage seem taller. Now let's talk about shape. The human body is flexible and can mimic many types of shape. Can you see what this dancer is doing? What shape is she trying to portray? Notice how the dancer portrays a square. She is evenly distributed, the base very stable and low to the ground. Now how about in this set design? The characters are inside what looks like a fan or sunburst. It puts them in the prime spotlight. In this photo, look at the performer in the center. He's in the middle of a circle yet set apart. His shape is a triangle, the base firmly secured on the ground. Can you see? In this one, the female dancer is shaped like a standing triangle. It denotes that their love is imbalanced in some way. She's stretched out away from him and yet they're quite connected. Now let's talk about volume and mass. Volume of characters can add to the feeling of a crowd or crowded space. Mass is a scale or size of object. A small character can play a child, however, the tallest actor cannot play a child. So that is mass and volume. Have you heard of negative space or negative mass? Empty spaces aren't empty if they're meant to be that way. A white floor can be a statement on its own. This is negative space and it must always be considered in a performance. See this photo of a fashion runway. The floor is all white. This is called negative space in which it highlights the person walking down the runway. Texture in visual arts, especially stage design, adds to the richness or grit of a scene. It can determine the mood. Uniformity or diversity in a chorale or orchestra also adds to that texture. Look at this tribal dance. Their costume and the banners in the background make the scene look very festive. It has a very rich texture. In this scene, the actor is dressed as a pantomime. She's depicting, or he is depicting, a bride. So the white painted face and the dress actually resembles the wedding dress. So white will signify purity. Light or lack of light adds to the texture. In colors, what does that mean in artwork? The same thing that it would mean for a stage set or costume design. Colors mean a lot of things. Example, red conveys sensuality, passion, anger, forcefulness, as opposed to blue. In this scene, everything is blue and hazy. It conveys the mood of the setting. It's like near a forest or a lake. It's very calming and serene. How about in this scene? You can see in this scene that the characters are shown in contrast. 
the lady in white is set apart versus the ones in black. So as you can see, she is the highlight of the scene. When a character is a villain, compared to the other characters, he will wear a black cape instead of a light colored one. The blue backdrop, of course, depicts the calming lake, but in this scene, this man is the antagonist or the villain. A burst of color can seem whimsical, as seen in this circus over here. It can seem very busy, yet childlike at the same time inviting. How about in this scene? A dark stage can set highlight to the characters in front. It can also convey loneliness or solemnity. Now, in performing arts, there's such a thing called perspective. Whose perspective are we looking at? Perspective in the theater must always be considered when planning a performance or artwork. In fashion shows, it's best to consider the audience perspective when they watch the show. How will the design translate when seen frontal or sideways? Will it be best viewed eye level or will the models be walking on a high platform? Look at this scene. The perspective here is also the seating. So if the seats are too far, it might be best to get a large LED screen to magnify the performance. So in which place they seat, they actually charge depending on uh, seating arrangement. So this is also considered in a performance. How about this? Virtual reality. It's a very personal perspective. It could be augmented reality or virtual reality, in which case the audience is immersed. When a character keeps looking up, it might connote that they feel small in the great scheme of things. Which character's perspective are we following? Does it change from scene to scene? So these things are considered when doing a stage play, a musical, even in videos. Can you spot other elements of art in other forms of performing arts? You can share your comments down below. I hope you like this video. Please like and share my content. Don't forget to follow my channel and of course my other social media channels. I'll put a link to the description down below. Bye!